What up, what up, what up, fellas? So, in this video, I want to discuss how I found Chronicles of Judah. That is that video about Chronicles of Judah is actually one of the the videos that <laughs> it's like to me that video right there is an awesome example of the compound effect because that video to this day is still one of my most watched videos and brothers still subscribe to me based on that video <laughs> and I made that video maybe two years ago so kind of want to touch on how did I find Chronicles and what was I going through at that time to find him now it's scary I don't know if you want to call it AI or is it the most high behind the scenes but it's it's like it the, 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 the quote of what you're looking for or what you need won't show up until you're ready to find it is is exactly true in life I, in my opinion like I just not only Chronicles but other individuals I've been stumbling upon them just happenstance where it's like damn is it the algorithm or is it the most high bringing them to you know but either way for chronicles years ago i found him in uh, 2016 2017 but you know i found him in 2016 maybe even 2015 but i didn't really need him and start really not need him but i didn't really get into what he was saying and, and the impact he had on my life until 2017 so I got into the real estate sales business in 2013 and my daughter was born that year and when that happened I didn't have a moment to think about life beyond what am I gonna do to try to make as much money as possible to give my daughter a head start and I was working security overnight uh, in 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012. When I came home to the, from the military, <laughs> that was my second. My first job was McDonald's. I worked for like an hour, <laughs> and I walked off right while working. I said I, I'm not coming back. I never went back. I ended up working security guard overnight, and fortunately, working overnight, I was able to just read and study, and that's how I started learning a whole bunch about going on, what's going on in the world with oil and politics and money and. Then I started learning about entrepreneurship and I'm like, all right, I gotta get rich out of a necessity. I have to become a millionaire. And I ended up stumbling upon, not Chronicles yet. I ended up just stumbling, like watching different videos. But two years later, I, I got, eventually I got into real estate. My daughter was born, trying to figure out life. Uh, I didn't understand myself at 23 and 24, 13, 14, 15. Like I was in my early 20s. I didn't know shit. I still don't know anything, but <laughs> I'm just learning. And I found, I ended up, okay, 2016 was my best year in sales. And it was also a life-changing year for me because, like, I was very pride, like, you know, I was very prideful and I believe the most high had to humble me. And I humbled myself, really, um, because I'm responsible for my life, but I was very prideful because I was doing things that most other agents and people weren't doing. And so I thought I was better than people and I wasn't, I wasn't at all. Because anybody can do the same thing and get the same results, if not the same, better results. It's just, I was willing to do what most people wasn't. And that is literally go up to people's doors, knock on them and talk to them. Many people are not willing to do that. They find it challenging, I don't. And so I seen a lot of, I seen a pretty good success in my career over that and it got to my head. And so 2017 was the time period where my child's mother, and, and I guess I deserved it because I didn't understand certain things like when a woman puts you on child support or takes you to court, she is officially your enemy. You know, that is not an ally. Um, when you get that paperwork, it says Baker versus Joshua Harris. Is, it is, is it a match? It's a, it's a, it's a match. You know, this is a, a fight. It's her versus me. And I didn't understand these things. I didn't understand certain things about relationships and red pill and all that other stuff. Uh, but 2017 was a very tough year uh, because from 2014, 2015, 2016, no, I'm sorry, from 2000, like 10, 11 is when I began my search on personal development, 
understanding life and all this stuff, reading and all this stuff. And when 2017 hit, like my whole life shifted where I went from this growth mindset of I want to grow, I want to do all these things, I want to be all these things. And it went out the door to where I was like, I, I didn't realize it two years later, my mindset went from how can I restrict myself? How can I not, not the, the objective was to not pay as much in child support. And so if I'm not trying to pay as much in child support, that means that I'm not going to work to my full efforts. And stupid me, you know, I should have known better. In life, you can't coast. You can't, okay, I'm gonna do this. This, I'm gonna do this well, and then I'm gonna do here, and I'm gonna, you know, I'm not, we're not a stock market. In life, we're either growing or we're dying. There is no, okay, I can take it easy and just keep going this way. No, you're eventually gonna, and that's what I did. I was no longer trying to go up, 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 up. My life was like, all right, I'm trying to maintain and keep it, but it does, it does work, especially in sales, especially in a business when you're working for yourself. Like, you're either going up or going down. There's no in between, and I ended up going down, and um, somehow, I mean, before that, I stumbled upon Chronicles, but during those bad times, I ended up stumbling, stumbling upon Chronicles, and I'm glad I found, found him when I did, because... I was just really going through it and I didn't want to talk. I couldn't tell. Nobody can relate. You know, I, I was 23 and I'm looking at my life like I'm literally going through the things that my father went through. Um, I'm, I'm experiencing his struggle, you know, and it gave me so much more respect for why he wasn't in my life when he wasn't. Uh, because I wouldn't want to be around my mother or my children at that time either and he was able to pull through it you know for me it's a lot more difficult because I'm on commission I don't get a check every two weeks so it's like it's a lot more stress but anyway I found Chronicles during that time period and his words just hit different it just hit different you know I've always admired and I still do admire anyone who speaks and they speak with conviction with the with the backing or or the the, the foundation of the most high because it, it, to me it shows that they're speaking from a different level it's too it, it's hard these days because you don't know who's speaking to you speaking to you from a genuine position as much as we're grateful for youtube and and the opinions and of, of everyone else a lot of these people are paid actors a lot of these people are being paid and told just like the music industry you're crazy if you don't think execs got with the top artists like hey we need you to push certain lyrics and certain ideologies i'm sure they did it's the same thing with youtube now and there's people who had who had talks about how during the pandemic certain youtube execs and stuff like that wanted certain narratives and certain subjects to continually be, be pushed for example the stimulus checks there were so many videos on stimulus checks f a stimulus check you know but Anyway, I noticed and I saw that his words were genuine and they were true. And it just hit differently for me in terms of where I was at in my life and what mattered to me. And I was truly grateful uh, for just his knowledge and his wisdom. And he didn't come off like, hey, I'm trying to get you to buy my course or buy my book or any of that stuff. It was really like, all right, man, peace. Let me hit you with this. Let me hit you in the head with this knowledge. And it'll send you back onto your life. And to this day, to this day, I still go back to his old videos on YouTube, not just Patreon, on YouTube, and listen to them like, this is some deep shit, <laughs> some deep stuff. So check out Chronicles of Judah for any young man, every young man, especially a young black man, so-called black man, check out Chronicles of Judah on YouTube and dive in. Every day, watch one of his videos life changing on that note appreciate you watching i appreciate you tuning in i appreciate you being here and i'm gonna do some thinking and some reading and i will touch base with you guys on the next one like the video leave your comments and opinions and god bless you all later